What's going on guys, Ziki Drifter 458 here, and today welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play. And this is possibly going to be my favourite race, because it is a new showcase event where we're going to be racing a cargo plane in a jig. Oh yes, I honestly thought it was going to be a Pagani Zonda, because uh, that's what it looked like in the trailers. But anyway, we've got a jam-packed episode today guys, we've got tons of stuff to talk about. So anyway, without further ado, let's get in the jig. Oh yes, now... I have not bought this car yet, so I am so glad. Um, I think that some of the showcase events give you the cars and then some of them don't, which kind of sucks. So, this is the XKRS, so one of my favourite Jags of all time. Should be pretty damn good. Sorry if I'm shouting this one, guys. I do actually have both of my earphones in. I don't normally do that, but uh, today I wanted to properly do it. That looks so damn epic, seriously. It's like GTA, but in Horizon. Someone's in a Titan. <laughs> Holy crap. Wait, I am going to concentrate for this race, guys, and then we're going to talk about the things, because this is one race you want to make an occasion with. A Jag versus a cargo player. Oh my god, that is menacing. <laughs> I mean, it's so weird, though, because you drive around in free roam, and you don't normally see anything like flying over. There's not really any planes or anything like that. And then you see a big motherfucking cargo plane. That is crazy. It really, really is. So, we'll jump into some cockpit view. Nice cockpit view in the XK. Nice blue dials. <laughs> None of the old spoon Jagger wood. Oh, yeah, so all the cool blue lighting. Oh, yeah. I think it looks like it's gonna crash. Holy shit. But I think we're gonna be racing to the airport, the airbase, I think, or the airport. I call it the airbase. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is unbelievably scary. Pull up, mate. Pull up. Oh, that is loud. That is very loud. Jesus Christ. That is unbelievable. This, is, this just reminds me of Fast and Furious 6. It really, really does. And yes, I said 6, not sex. As people always say in the bloody comments. <laughs> it's my accent. I can't help it. Oh my god. This is a car that you really need to drive in the cockpit view, it just gives it a sense of occasion. It's a proper GT car, the XKRS. Oh, brake! Oh, I hate that corner. I really, really do. I love the corner that's coming up, but I just hate that one entering it, because it is quite tight. It really, really is. Now, this is quite quiet for a Jag. It really, really is. It's not um, loud and leery like the F-Type. Oh, my God! I need to rewind that, guys. Sorry, sorry, that was going to go completely wrong. Oh god. <laughs> rallying, in a, rallying in an XKRS. Oh! Bloody hell. I mean, if you literally woke up one day, got in your Jag if you're lucky enough to own one, or get in any car that you own, and you see that big thing flying over you, I think you would shit your pants. You really, really would. Come on, down into third for the little hairpin. Come on. Whoa! There we go. The, the typical Jag slidey arse. <laughs> or the typical Jag overseer. Oh, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got your loins, little drag. Yeah, that's it, right? Oh, it sounds so much better than Hoodcam. Ho, 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 ho. That's the thing. It's the same with the F type. You can't really hear. The supercharger, it's kind of muffled in the back. Oh my god, there it is. I don't know if we're going to win this. Are we? Come on. Come on, Jag. You can do it. You can beat the plane. Dun, 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 dun. No, we need some Indiana Jones music going on right now. Dun, 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 dun. At least this runway is not like Fast and Furious 6 is. Like a whole country's worth. And we just made it. They're rigged. They're definitely rigged. We really, really are. I'm sure at one point I see him like stall a bit. You had a chance in this one. You were like a man possessed chasing him down. Yeah, I'm a man possessed. I am. I am. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say something. I cannot. I don't know what I was going to say. But anyway, I am the man possessed. Thirteen thousand. That's better a wee bit more than that. I'm not going to lie, but 
Yeah, anyway, we're up level we at now, I forget. Oh, 165. Oh, yes. So, I think we've only got a couple of championships to go, guys. We're going to be doing several races from the next championship today. We possibly might be using the Maserati Gran Turismo S, because a few people have been asking for that. I've done, like, a mini build on it already, so you can get to see it. It's all blacked out and everything, with, because with the Gran Turismo, oh, it looks nice. It looks very, very nice and black. But the one thing I want to request to come back is the Ma the Maserati Quattroporte GTS that was in Forza Motorsport 4. Such a nice right, car. Guys, that's it for this championship. We'll regroup back at the Nice Messina hub when you're ready to move on. Oh, I'm ready to move on. Yes, I am. So, there we go. We're in the Mazda right now, guys. This thing, it's just sick. It really, really is just sick. Really, really good. And that's the thing, right? I don't know if you noticed that there. The game still glitches a bit. It really, really does, and then when you change gear sometimes, it kind of, it feels like you're stalling at it because the revs just go, eh, for like two seconds, I'm like, it's a weird glitch, it is a weird damn glitch, where the hell am I going? <laughs> it's veering off the road, holy crap. Anyway, we get to pick a new championship, which is good. Oh, handbrake, handbrake, handbrake. Right, um, so, I wonder what we get to pick. Continue to Castelletto. The old championships. Uh, we'll stick with the. We'll stick with the Gran Turismo. That's what we'll do. Um, but the thing I want to talk about, guys, is that there's going to be a brand new series coming later today called EK's Escapades. Now, this is basically going to be a free ride equivalent for non-car games. Now, I've been wanting to get back into non-car games for a while, but I only really want to do it if you guys are going to watch it because I don't want to make the videos and not have any of these watch it, if you know what I mean, because granted, I know it's not going to get as much views as like a car video, but it'll be interesting to see, because I would like you guys to watch it to see my own perspective on games that aren't car games, because I feel as if I put a bit more comedy into it rather than other people that just play Let's Plays to get the views, because um, I was watching, I don't want to name in the name or anything like that, because I don't like being a dick, <laughs> if you know what I mean, so I was watching a few other YouTubers um, doing Drive Club. Don't worry, it's not Black Panther, I'm not talking about him. <laughs> Obviously I find him entertaining that, but there's a few people that have been doing Drive Club. I'll get to Drive Club in a minute, because I've got a big announcement. Um, but yeah, I, I've been watching a few people playing that, and they just basically don't talk about anything else apart from what is happening in the game, like, oh, I'm turning left, I'm turning right, I'm putting on the gas, I just crashed into a wall. I mean, I hate people like that, I really, really do. I mean, Find something to talk about rather than just going, Oh look, I am in the cockpit view, I am turning a wheel, I just smashed into a Renault Alpine. Oh my god. Find something to talk about to and to make other people interested and stuff. Now granted it is a car game you're playing. I know you might talk about the car as well, but you could do that sometimes and talk about other stuff. That's just my personal opinion. So that is what I'm gonna be doing with Drive Club. I'm gonna be talking about other stuff as well, so yeah. Uh, now I basically gave it away there. Um but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll get back to it in a second, but EK Escapades is basically, as I said, a free drive, but for non-car, um, a free ride, I mean, but for non-car games, so technically it can't be a free ride, but Escapades basically is another word for adventure, so, because everyone uses adventure, the game in Lemon, Black Panther uses adventure in the names, I used to, but I want to make it something different, so, EK Escapades, and the first episode is going to be an Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, we're going classic, people. We are going classic because if you don't know, Unity, I can't even say it, Unity is coming out in a month's time, I believe. Um, and I will be getting that, guys. I haven't picked up an Assassin's Creed game in a long time. The last one I picked up was Black Flag. Played it for a day. Did not like it one bit. I just don't like, I really, really don't like the pirate way that we're going with it. But with Unity, it is something different. It is something different. But Rogue still has that. Um, pirate feeling to it for some reason, so yeah, I cannot wait for Unity, it's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the idea of the series of EK Escapades, I'm going to be doing like missions in games and then like just roaming around the world, seeing what's happening uh, and stuff, because I've not really seen a lot of people do that. I've not really seen a lot of people do that before, uh, but talking with other stuff as well. Obviously, there's Spears, <laughs> he does Legite and stuff, he's just a legend, he really, really is. Um, but yeah, I've not really seen a lot of people do, like, all roaming around Assassin's Creed talking about stuff, or 
um, any other games, stuff like that. So if you've got any of the games that you want me, uh, any non-car games that you want me to do, or I can just roam around and stuff, um, then leave them in the comments. Leave them in the comments below. So I will do them if you guys want. So yeah, the big announcement in this video, guys, is that I have ordered a PS4 and Drive Club last night. A lot of you were saying get it, a lot of, a lot of people were saying don't get it. Basically, my opinion is I've got to play the game to find out what it is like, if you know what I mean, because you can't just say, oh, I hate the game, and you've not even clicked up the controller of it. That is just my opinion on that, guys, because um, Black Panther, he says it's completely different than what I expected, so he was like, he liked Drive Club from the start, I believe. I think he did, but... Um, he says it's completely different and it's more focused on your driving skill. I like games like that, I really really do because it gives it more of a challenge. Because I like all different sorts of racing games where it's Need for Speed's fun arcade and stuff like that. Because, don't get me wrong, people hate on Need for Speed, right? It is quite a fun game, right? But I agree with you, it's make it a little bit more difficult to drift in it. <laughs> so, even if you made it like Horizon, that would be pretty damn cool. Because that means you can still turn around the corners like you want to without drifting. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, we're just arrived in Castelletto. <laughs> you have arrived in Castelletto, oh yes you have. Um, but yeah, expect to see some Drive Club videos by the end of the week, guys, because Amazon said it should arrive around Friday, maybe a bit before, maybe Thursday, because um, normally when I order something uh, from Amazon, it comes like a day before the scheduled time, or a couple of days, so you never know, it might come tomorrow. Prettiest cars at the show. Well, GT Car Championship. Opinion, at least. Pick a race and start the championship. Right, we shall do that, Ben. We shall definitely do that right now, Sonny Boy. Um, we'll go over here. That I can. Don't even ask me to pronounce that. The Diorcia, Diorcia Club. Tell you what, fuck it. We're just going to fast travel. We've got that money. We've got that money to do it. We really, really have. So I can't wait to get into Drive Club, guys, because I'm going to be doing a let's play of it. I'm going to be doing like test drive slash free ride episodes in it. I know you can't technically do free ride episodes in Drive Club, but you can like chop and change from track to track and stuff. So and plus, Scotland's in the game. Scotland's in Drive Club. Finally, a game of Scotland in it. Seriously, so representing. <laughs> That's also another reason why I want to get Drive Club because Scotland's in it. Yeah. Oh my god, so it's going to be epic, it really is, because some of my favourite cars are in there, like the LD1 Quattro, the new AMG, I can't even say it, the AMG GTS, that's a fucking tongue twister all that, imagine just saying that for a fucking full name, the Mercedes Benz AMG GTS, there we go, <laughs> so that'd be kind of weird if you'd done that as like initials, two seconds, it would have oh my god, too much coffee again, but if it's like the MB, AMG GTS. <laughs> That's crazy. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started racing in the Mazda. But the one thing I've got to complain about is that the showcase events, we only get one car from them, and that was the Ferrari at the start. Because they don't, they don't give us um, any cars after that, which is kind of disappointing. Because in Horizon 1, you get a car every single time. So I was expecting to get that Jag, but sadly I don't, so I have to go and buy one myself. But I've been stalling it all the way through the game, and now I'm only going to get my hands on XKRS. Not complaining, because it is a good car. Oh! Now I've got to say, hats off to Playground, because the one thing that I have hated about the Gran Turismo Enforcer is that it's never sounded as good as it should, but in this... Oh my god, it made it sound nice, so I will let you guys hear it right now. We'll wait till we get around this corner. There we go. Big Bentley, move your arse, come on. I'm trying to get to the first place here. Alright, come on, wait till we get to a straight and then I'll let you hear it, because <laughs> it's literally going to melt your ears. Anyway, let's go. Oh, it just sounds like it's running on caramel. It really, really does. I think Clarkson said that once in one of his DVDs. I think it was Jewel or something like that, or Thriller. Um, it says like it's running on caramel because it sounds so smooth. I have to agree with them. It really, really does. It really, really does. And this is also another car which is great for cockpit driving and great for cockpit sound. It's amazing. So, the MC Stradale. That needs to come into Horizon 2, it really really does, the, the, um, 
the Maserati Grand Tourismo MC Sudali because I don't know if there's a licensing thing on it, but Drive Club's got it, uh, Need for Speed Rivals has got it, um, I don't know what else has got it, but they're the two main games that do have it, so I really, really, really want it to come into this game because it just sounds like a monster, it really does and looks like a monster as well, so, um, but yeah, I've got a hunch that the Alpha Romeo 4C is coming in the next pack, guys, because I, if it's in the crew, it's surely a god going to come in to Forza because they've got a great, great, great relationship with Alpha Romeo because in Forza Motorsport 5, I believe in nearly every single car part there was an Alpha Romeo. It, well, at least it felt like that. So, yeah, um, I really, really hope they bring in the 4C because that is one of my most anticipated cars for Drive Club as well because that is in it. And I just, I really, really like Drive Club because it has a sort of Forza Vista mode about it as well. We can actually go into the car, you can see your actual guy or your avatar go into the car, look around and stuff, it's just awesome, so, and the one thing a lot of people hate, but I do quite like, is that they took away the speedometer, now, I know it's going to be a bit hard to get into it first, but that just shows you how dedicated they are to driving skill, you need to look at the actual speedometers of the car, you need to listen to the engine roar and match the revs to when you're changing, so, it's going to be an awesome, awesome game, it really is, because I know there's a lot of people hating saying, oh, it looks crap, it looks crap. Um, my personal my personal opinion is, try it for yourself. I know not a lot of people have PS4s um, that watch my channel, because they're mainly on Xbox and play Forza, but okay. all I say is that, give it a chance, guys, give it a chance. So, yeah, you can't say it, and, what the hell? How did I get second to that one? What the hell? Okay, I did not see that M6. Oh, that jag though. Oh my god, she looks sexy and white. Oh, ho, ho. I might be actually waiting that colour. Oh, damn. He came not putting a freaking jag in blue. What's going on with you? <laughs> anyway, I was in a big lobby last night in Horizon 2, guys. Mostly full of Scottish people now. Uh, it was tons of subscribers and that. All pretty damn funny. So if any of you guys are watching it within the lobby, Big thumbs up to you because we're all funny as fuck. I was nearly on the ground sometimes pissing myself laughing at what they said. <laughs> it really, really was because um, I think one of the guys um, that were in it comes from Glasgow. So I believe there was one from Kirkcaldy, there was one from Glasgow. So I know people outside of Glasgow and like, Scotland won't know what these places are. But yeah, um, basically what he said was that, EK, have you ever been in a fight before? I'm like... No, I, I've never been in a fight. I'm not a fighter, guys, because basically, I, <laughs> my opinion is avoid violence at all costs, unless it's a troll in a game where you need to bash the hell out of them, because um, considering the fact that I was talking about the guy in the rally fighter the other night, he joined that lobby, and basically since there was like 11 of us in one of him, I just said to all of them, ram the hell out of him, and he just pussied out and just went into... Uh, Horizon Hub. So basically, he was only to, he was only ramming me because I was myself. But then I was with my friends and stuff last night, and he basically went the fuck out. So yeah. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm not a fighter. And then someone actually said to me quite a good quote. Um, he says to me, <laughs> "Ek, you're a furry, not a fighter." And I just pissed myself laughing at that point. I really, really did because that is quite a good little phrase. It really, really is because. Um, Oh, speaking of that, if you've not seen um, the pic that someone done on Twitter of like a rearranged version of my logo, because um, I don't know if I said it in one of my previous videos, but it's got my new slogan on it, fast, funny and furry, so it's really, really funny, it really, really is funny, so I'll link it down below so you guys can see it. Oh my god, this is one of my favourite circuits on the game, this is one of my favourite areas as well for like drifting, because um... It's basically the exact same area that you got to drive in the demo, and plus, I've driven it so much, I know basically every single inch of it. Yes! Taking the Mazda off-road! Yeah, bitches! Yes, now. Um, also, when I get the PS4, I am going to be getting Infamous Second Son. I have always wanted to play that game. I've not really... I've tried my best to not watch people play it, because... I've got a vague whiff of what it's going to be, like... You're this guy and you've got, like, supernatural powers and stuff. And you can like drain energy from like neon, you can drain energy from the ground and stuff, so it's going to be awesome. It's a bit like a supernatural Assassin's Creed in my opinion. 
and yeah, it's going to be an awesome game to do like EK's escapades on it because I think that's just an awesome name. It just came to me this morning. I'm like, I just got up and then it just went bing in my head. I love when I just do that. I really, really do because um, yeah, <laughs> I'm the sort of person who needs to write their ideas down on a piece of paper because if you don't do that, I feel as if you get a bit lost in thought because um, even when I do free ride episodes, even right now in the Let's Play, I've got stuff written down in a bit of paper in front of me to like, bring up because I've got stuff like, oh, mention a new series, mention I've got Drive Club coming, etc, etc and stuff because I feel as if that's a lot better because you have stuff to talk about there and then so you'd have to think about it, so that's just the way I roll. <laughs> this is how we roll. That's the one band I've not listened to in a lot of while for, the Georgia Line. It's awesome. I believe their new album comes out soon, so I'm going to be downloading that. I really, really am, because a lot of people were actually surprised when I mentioned that in my crew video that I listened to for the Georgia Line, because <laughs> I listen to a mixed variety of music, because as you all know, dance is my favourite. Like, uh, as you all know, as I was saying, I've been listening to Martin Garrix. Um, Rehab as well, he's one of my new favourite DJs, because um, I just recently started to listen to his song How We Party featuring Vinay, I believe they're called. It's V I N A I, I believe it's Vinny or something. Um, but yeah, it's such a good dance song, it really, really is, because after the chorus, there's this like wob, 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 See if you're in a club, there's got to be like a head tracking movement that you've got to do to it because I've done my own one the other night and it goes so damn well with it. Really, really does. I don't know about you guys, but I'm in the mood to like, well not customise the Mazda, but add like a decal on it or something because I did have it in the EK blue and I was thinking, something isn't right about this. It really, really isn't. It's a Maserati. It needs to be the Hitman. It needs to be the Hitman because um, I was watching the Top Gear episode with the where James, Jeremy and Richard had the Maserati Quattroporti GTS which needs to come back in the Horizon 2 as I said uh, the god awful and ugly Elephant Man which is the Porsche Panamera um, and the gorgeous Aston Martin Rapide um, but yeah I really 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 love the Maserati um, Quattroporti GTS because it's just gorgeous, it really really is it's so cool um, but the new the new Quattroporti, I don't like it. It's just become too fat and soft for me. It really, really has. I don't like the outside of it. Basically, the back of it just reminds me of a Volkswagen Passat. I, 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 I don't know why. It just looks like a Volkswagen. But the Ghibli, oh my god, the new Ghibli. I believe the Ghibli S is going to be in Fast and Furious 7. So I have seen it in some spy pics as well. Um, it's going to be awesome, Fast and Furious 7, but it's going to be a shame that Paul Walker can't be in there. Rest in peace to the legend, man. He's absolutely awesome. And, yeah, I really, really, really do hope they send him off in a perfect, perfect way with Fast 7, because I think it's going to hurt everyone. I think it is really going to make... The, it's going to... The feels, man. The feels, bro. The feels are going to be there with every petrol head that goes to the cinema, seriously. Um, I think we're going to Bentley. We're going to Bentley for the last race, guys, because I've not driven the big Bentley yet. <laughs> big, <laughs> big booty Bentley, see? Big booty Bentley. I have not watched that video in a long time. <laughs> big booty bitches. <laughs> the first time I've seen that was on Equals 3 with Ray William Johnson, because, um, I don't know if you guys still watch that, because, um, they've got a new guy, Robbie Motts. I think he's hysterical, that new guy. He's done a perfect, perfect job taking over from Ray. Uh, don't get me wrong, I prefer Ray, I do prefer Ray, but, um, yeah, I can understand, man, he was doing it for five years, and I can understand that he wanted to move up in the world or something like that, well, I don't exactly want to say move up in the world, he has 10 million subscribers, unbelievable, so, that's the thing, excuse me, guys, um, I don't know if the revenue from his channel still goes to Ray, but obviously they have to pay Robbie a little bit as well, because, um, he's presenting the bloody thing, so, yeah, um, but I just remember something, this isn't the V8, this is the GT Speed. So this has got a V12 in it, or a W12. God damn, that is very, very good, so... And, happy to report, it's very good at handling, especially off-road, but... This is very, very weird indeed, because it kind of reminds me of the episode where James... Uh, it reminds me of the episode of Top Gear where James takes this thing off-road with, um... I think his name's Chris Meek. 
or something like that, so it's pretty damn good. As you all know, Bentleys have one of the best interiors in the world, and that understood like an absolute biatch there. You can run that corner, hobby sheet. Really, really did. Anyway, let's focus. Now, I don't think it sounds as good as the V8 version, that's just my personal opinion, so. Um, but I, I do prefer the V8, it just looks a lot better in my opinion, so. Oh, brake! Gotta remember, this is a very, very, very heavy car. It's basically a hippo on wheels, and it resembles a hippo on wheels as well. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not saying it looks ugly. I don't, I don't think it looks ugly. It looks, it looks fancy. <laughs> and so fancy. You already know. I'm driving my Bentley. Oh my god. More like drifting my Bentley. <laughs> I'm going to use woman Clarkson's quote. Woman. Today, I'm power sliding a Georgian duo boy. <laughs> That was the Bentley Brooklyns, I think he said that. Oh my god, that was in the Alpha episode. <laughs> that just shows you how much I watch Top Gear. I know basically every single episode. Oh my god. Oh, I said it's so much to slap today. Oh my god, though. Oh my. <laughs> it's fucking hysterical when he says that a lot. And we're coming up to the end now. Big Bentley behind us and handbrake. Yes. That swagger. Let's just get over the line there. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play. Another one should be coming in maybe tomorrow, I'm not too sure. I want to get the Let's Play done before Drive Club starts up the Let's Play with me. So yeah, that doesn't make no sense. Before I start up a Let's Play of Drive Club. And we're rolling in that money. Oh yes we are. New level up. Oh yes. So, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. As I said, uh, keep your eye out later today for the first episode of EK's Escapades in Assassin's Creed 2. Um, I really, 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 really hope you guys watch that. And to end off the episode, we'll see what we've got for the level up. Please be a nice car. Please be a nice car. Come on, come on, come on. To round off the episode, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Anyway, oh, we got two. Ha ha ha. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. God damn it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please have a like and subscribe if you guys are new into here for more Forza Horizon 2 and more. See you next time. Me and Bentley. Peace.